Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. Time to hashtag everything with Mariano and Pauline. Hashtag Pauliano. We talk about all the fun, crazy stories on social media. From Instagram to Facebook, Twitter to Tumblr, or probably even Friendster. Join us each week as we explore the quirky side of social media. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. It's simple. It's simple, such a sad song. The one that, the one that we rely on. To get us, to get us. Welcome, everyone, to the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media News Podcast. I'm Pauline. And I'm Mariano. And today we have kind of like a pretty interesting episode. It's yeah. kind of like. <laughs> seems like a lot of our <laughs> your lack of words just, just like already kind of <laughs> some sets people the tone. that um are just kind of like getting into trouble right now and it's like it sucks because i love ryan lochte too yeah ryan lochte is um an an olympian and he has won gold medals he's a swimmer mm. he is very very talented and that's great and all like it is we even spoke about his mermaid hair so he's yeah. <laughs> been you know he's been in the news for his beautiful um, mermaid butterfly swim olympic the uh these rio games like this um the olympics that are taking place right now um but unfortunately lately he's been in the news for a lot of other reasons besides just swimming and so he actually um Initially, the story was that he, along with three other swimmers, were um, like kind of like involved in like a robbery, like right. that involved like a gun, also, and like being like uh, he claimed that um, the gunman had like the gun to like his head, things like that. So it was really a lot of dr- drama and like crazy, and um, that he feared for his life, everything. And so um, at first, everybody was really like. You thing. know, in his corner, you know, and saying like, oh, my gosh, how could this happen? And he ev- and he actually eventually left Brazil. Um, and so he was able to get out of Brazil. I believe he left like on the 15th or something like that. So a few days ago, right when this was like starting to generate some buzz. Yes. And he left. He hightailed it quick. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he did leave. And the other three summers were still in Brazil. So he was he left. Right. And now it's starting to come out that this whole robbery story was fake and that there's actually like videos. Why did I wonder why? Well, there's videos of the swimmers like vandalizing like a gas station um, bathroom. Like, Uh, why would you even do that? Why do people do anything? Um, But uh, he so I I don't know. There's just um, it's mostly just like there was a broken mirror that they broke down the like lock on the door to like because you know how like bathrooms when the gas stations have like the bathroom. Yeah, they said that it was locked. And so they all like busted it down to get. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure I hopefully just use the restroom. I don't know what the need for that was. But, um, you know, just whatever. Um, And so now what's happening is that there was actually a judge in Brazil who ordered that the other swimmers could not leave. Yeah, they took their passports. Their passports because they wanted to get to the bottom of this because at first they're filing police reports saying that they were robbed at gunpoint. And so like that, you know, that's scary. That's a big deal. They have to take care of that. That's one issue. Right. But now it's surfacing that this is like a lie. And so they were like, okay, what's going on? We need to get to the bottom of this. And because Lochte had already left, like dipped out of Brazil, he's back home um, here in the States. They're like, we have to make sure that these guys don't just leave without us getting the full story and getting the truth. And so now we fast forward to today where um, because now there's been a lot of like discrepancies in like the stories and like they're kind of like switching up what happened and things like that. But we already know it was false uh, by this point, right? And so, well, there was like a whole lot of speculation, right? That it it was like that the story was either altered in a way or just completely made up. And so um, Lochte has actually like come out and like put out a statement apologizing. I think it was like released just this morning. I saw that. The video? Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, oh, what? What video? You didn't see the video? Of him? Yeah. Him speaking? Oh, no. I, I didn't know if it... I, I just read a statement. Oh, okay. Well, what, yeah. what was the statement? And so basically it was him apologizing. 
What did and, he say though? Like, um, saying that he should have been like more responsible, especially when filing this police report, and that he should have been more. Um, kind what, of, what like, were you thinking? That's what I want to know. So I don't know. So perhaps he. Uh, everything is looking like he lied. I'm sorry for breaking stuff and then lying about it. Changed a lot of the story to benefit their own selves, which you know that was just like six stupid decisions all at once. Of, and I mean, if it's if it's um. Because sometimes when you like break something or whatever, and that's the thing too, because like there's videos of different things and they, right. the the Brazilian police is saying that, um, you know, they tried to leave the, that scene and that they actually, um, like the people there, like the workers and things called the police and that that's who came and who had guns where, because like they're policemen and things like that. So there's like some bits and pieces yeah i read something like that too but i read that they never they never like unholstered their guns oh see there's there's a lot of different accounts of this story and so it makes sense as to why like that brazilian judge wanted to keep them there to try to like you know figure out really what is the truth and like when are like you know just to put all the pieces together because it's like everybody has a different account which is generally what happens when any thing happens there's always that's why you know they ask everybody involved because everybody has a different account of what's happening so they try to like just get to the bottom of it so it's just kind of eh, because you know if it is all completely made up then that's kind of not cool to like lie to the police i i think that's actually um in brazil like an offense there filing a false police report what is here too yeah yeah so um that is just that's one situation that maybe escalating just because now there's other things like that was besides, stupid. Like, that, was, that was something that didn't have to happen at all yeah and it's just kind of like uh because he even said lochte himself said you know like he's taking away a lot from the olympics and the like, people that are competing right now in the olympics because this is becoming news and becoming a big story and instead Not even of us that, focusing but... on like the olympians who are still competing and still you know racing or just just competing in general for gold and for their medals and for their countries and so it's like you know we're talking about something that really did not have to like happen in a way you know and so instead of just focusing on the greatness that is the olympic games so you know who did make the olympics look awesome was usain bolt oh yes did you see what he did have you seen his pictures um on like twitter and instagram him smiling while he's running and everybody else like straining oh and he's just I, like well i saw the race this morning <laughs> oh yeah yeah um mm-hmm. well his last race anyway because he won already what two gold medals in this one and he's already won the most gold medals for like runners in olympic history mm-hmm. but he was saying what i was talking about though was that interview he was doing it was a live interview with someone she was speaking spanish so i think it was like from mexico oh, okay. and the american national anthem came on and like he made her stop and he turned around and like and like put his hand on his heart and waited the whole thing. Wow. And then went back and like continued. For the Star Spangled Banner? Yeah. Or for Jamaica's? No, for the American. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really interesting. Uh-huh. That's kind of like a cool, that's kind of like the cool thing about sports though, is like just sportsmanship in general. Like I look at that as like Well, about some athletes because then there's that guy RG3. So, but, but like, you know, like sportsmanship, like in, like the fact that somebody was being honored for winning gold and so they were playing their national anthem so he just respects that and them whether he was doing it for um the united states and or just that medalist or what like you know that's kind of like cool yeah well respect is is respect so i I give him respect for that because but i've always liked usain bolt i've always thought he was really cool i've seen his um have you seen the bolt the documentary no and um or it's called like lightning bolt and he that's cool yeah he's fast and like I've also seen him on Top Gear. I've I, like I've seen mm-hmm. a lot of him. I like him as yeah. a person, and, and obviously I, he's a killer runner. Right, right. And so I think that that's really cool. And speaking of racing and runs um, in the Olympics, <laughs> speaking of the runs. So speaking of uh-huh. um, track and field and things like that. So don't change it. Three, now. the run sounds funny. No, well. Three Americans won. Female runners. Oh yeah. One with the one hundred meter hurdles. One, two, and three. Which was really awesome. You'd be like um, first, second, and third? Like, yeah, first, okay. second, and third. And so, so they uh, took the it was whole... like a clean sweep. Yeah. Yeah. And um, for the 100 meter hurdles in the women's category. And then um, the women's, I believe it was the four by one. The four, relay? Yeah, the relay. Four by 100 relay. Was it four by one? It was either the four by one or the four by four. I want to say four by one though. Okay. Because these ladies, I believe, are just sprinters. But uh, don't quote me that. So it was one of the relay races okay. where. Um, 
our team, Team USA, actually dropped the baton. <laughs> and they were bumped by um, one of the Brazilian runners and that like bumped her arm and she dropped it. And so oh. that the US, you, you're able to kind of like protest that and like kind of like put right. in a petition to like review that. Right. Because, you know, you're out you know when you drop mm -hmm. the baton so that like, that's a really big deal and so i thought she just dropped they it. were no yeah and so she was saying you know like she bumped me and that's what made caused me to drop the baton um and so they actually reviewed it and they won an appeal and so they were actually which is um you know you're allowed to do that and right and so they were actually granted the ability the right to um just last night they did it like a rerun type thing. Uh, that's what I was thinking. It was like and a re-race. So, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's not like a whole race. They do it. The, oh, that team just, the, okay. Does it. Um, so it's not like everybody, like not everybody re-races the whole thing. And then you just clock, they clock the time. And then if your time qualifies against all the other, uh, teams People, that uh -huh. ran earlier, then you, if, if you beat them out, then you can qualify that way. And they did, which was great. They killed a lot of people's time. So they were able to qualify. So it was a really cool thing because very like you're, you're given that option, but not a lot of times when you review things, are right. you given the opportunity to redo. Yeah. And so it was really exciting for the United States uh, to have that opportunity to redo it. So it's just been a lot of like um, random things happening and, you know, with that with women's track and field lately these last few days but we're going to cut it to a break real quickly and when we come back we have a little bit more interesting crazy news about athletes and social media yeah, so always, we'll yeah. be right back <laughs> Do you want to be healthier, yet you just don't know what to do? All these shows telling you this and that, but nothing seems to work. Well, listen close. Golden State Media Concepts has got something great for you. The health and wellness podcast dedicated to workout trends, healthy eating habits, diet, and everything about healthy living. Join us in our banters as we help you not just live life to the fullest, but live it to the healthiest. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for listening to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. I'm Mariano. And I'm Pauline. And we are hashtag Pauliano. Now, we were just talking about uh, some things in the Olympics, but some people, there have been, there's been controversy like all over the sports world, it seems like. Robert Griffin III, RG3. Mm -hmm. Who does he play for again? The Browns, right? Cleveland. Oh, shoot. Yes, he plays for the Cleveland Browns. Now, he and his wife are separating. I guess they've actually been separated for like a couple months, but now they're actually getting an official divorce. After she found out that he was dating a new girl, a college girl that he met on uh, Instagram. How that annoyed me. And what really annoys me <laughs> is that, that this guy is one of those like, like I'm so wholesome and he talks like God this, God that, you know? Well, people are, okay. Whoa. I almost said something that would have been maybe misconstrued. There's two things with that. One, I guess people are allowed to make mistakes even if they talk about God all the time. There's that. But then this is a kind of mistake that I'm like, yeah, why? You know, um, but him and so you actually like brought up this story and he does play for the Browns. Sorry. I, yep. I don't know why I drew a blank on that earlier. Um, but... So he met this girl off, you're saying Instagram, mm -hmm. which I mean, Instagram, see, social media is okay, like one of those even, double edged swords. I understand that, but you can't even start to blame social media. He, no, no, I'm not blaming her, social media. I'm he met saying her you seven can, months after his baby was born. Come on. Well, I mean, you can meet. And he got the girl's name tattooed on his forearm. What girl? The girl that he met. The new girl? Uh -huh. The girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Yeah. that's so you say a mistake I'm, i say like eight mistakes and like it just makes it worse like i understand of course everyone makes mistakes like i'm not no i'm just know. saying like just because he claims that like he's christian and then makes a mistake i think sometimes people think that like when people claim like talk about their religion that they're not like they're they're holy or something and that they're well obviously not always but my, but people like human nature you know yeah but that's human nature so he should know better like if like to me so if you say wait go ahead to me it's like 
like of course everybody makes mistakes. I'm not like, defending this no, I know. mistake. I know at you're all. not. No, like, I know you're not. Because you know I'm pro marriage is uh, yeah. like a union that should not be broken. Well, even if <laughs> you know, like, when even you if, to get married, if people never get married, like that's cool. But I'm just pro. Don't break somebody's heart for some other girl right after this girl had your baby and you've been married for several years. Right, and I think you know? he probably could have handled it a lot differently. Well, why would you do that? Like you know, if you're no, not, I, I, if you I, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't love her, a lot then, like, of you know, other ways. Yeah, there to are go better ways this. to go about it. That was shady, no matter how you slice yeah, it. Yeah, and especially if she's finding out through social if you're, media. Um, even if she separated, like your wife, that you're still technically married to. Until but they're not. The like she, they started separating after she found out. No, I know, but until like a divorce is a divorce final. Uh, not yet. That's what I mean. So technically, you're still kind of like. As far as until like the divorce is like completely final, well, cats like, out of the bag you now. Can be separated. Yeah, but what I mean is just like he should have had a tad bit more respect for her not to find out through social media or through the news or through other outlets instead of hearing it straight from him. That like, oh, we are in fact going to get a divorce because like you know when you're separated, you see what I'm saying. Like you that, can sometimes people work on themselves. Sometimes that they to try me, to build back, yeah. whatever. But that's fine. But then like, to like, find all this out. Yeah, like that's fine. Like that's not, you know, the, what I was trying to get at was like, of course, everyone makes mistakes. Mm-hmm. So it's not like it, you can't talk about, you know, religion and stuff and not make mistakes, but it just makes it worse. Like to me, it's the whole thing of like when you see a cop speeding and then not using turn signals, it's like you're the you're the law. Like you're the one who's supposed to be doing these things. And it doesn't mean that you're still not a human. I get it. You know, but it's like you see how that could be worse. It's like if you find out, like I had a lot of teachers in school who they were also in school, mm-hmm. like finishing PhDs or whatever. Yeah. And if I find out you didn't do your homework, then I'm like, you're the teacher. You just, I just got detention for not doing my homework and you're not doing your homework. Like that, that makes it worse to me. Like that's hypocritical, you know? Mm-hmm. So like, of course people make mistakes, but that just, that just made it more sour to me. And like all of it was just so wrong. Like, even if he had never brought up religion, like how do you... Number one, how do you meet a, some young college girl after this other girl stuck with you? Because she was with him before he was in the NFL. Um, and this girl, you know, you meet her seven months later. You guys are together. You just had a baby with your, you know, your wife. Um, she finds out, poor thing, through social media because you can't say anything. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't like that part. Yeah, but to, that, I, don't, like, I don't like that part either. She can't. But to me, that's... You should have that conversation like, hey, this might come out because I'm dating somebody new now. I agree, but I don't like that part. But that that to me is like the part I, I dislike the least because it's like you should have never done it. Like there should have never been something to bring out, you know? So it's like, to me, the worst part is that he actually had something to be like, hey, by the way, you know, mm-hmm. that there was something to find out. Like if if I found out something like that, I wouldn't be so angry that... I'd be embarrassed that it came out through social media. Yeah, that is. But I'd be like, social media or not, you can't be doing that. You know, I only kind of married you. Like, I just had your baby. You can't be doing this to me. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I don't like. Mm -hmm. And then to go and get the girl's name tattooed on his forearm, they're not even divorced yet. You know, like, that's just all kinds of fail right there to me. I think he is. I think that, I mean, I, I really don't know their situation. I don't know really much about his like personal life at all well me neither but there's nothing that could make that like okay i think that like i said i think and also because it is on like like the the public world like you know it's kind of like out and everything and it's not something private that um i think it does make it worse it adds to it definitely because that does it just it doesn't look good on his part. It doesn't look good on like for not not that it doesn't look. It doesn't good look for good her, on the college girl's part. But the um, like the wife like that like you said that is embarrassing because we're discussing it right now and there's other news outlets that are discussing it or talking about it or making it um, perhaps bigger than I'm sure they would have liked because I don't think anybody wants any mistake or problem whether it's like in your marriage or just like in general like you know when they talk about celebrities going to like rehab i'm sure they don't want that out no of course not you know but that's the point things like that but that brings up a point that i'm trying to make is like celebrity aside or like religion aside or everything aside just as an adult who is ultimately responsible for your own decisions regardless of how hard it is like you know being in the public eye that you signed up for by the way nobody put a gun to his head and was like join the nfl or die you know Mm -hmm. like you did this to yourself so my point is like he can't go and claim because I actually did read some of that. Like I read the story on TMZ and I read it on USA Today. And then I read like so, uh, there was a story. It was like Yahoo News or something mm-hmm. saying about how difficult this has been for him and his family. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know how you don't go through this. Don't cheat on your wife. You know, so it's it, to me, it's like, you know, how you don't go to jail. Don't break the law. Like it just 
it 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 makes it hard for me to like feel sorry for him because it's like well you did it you know but but what i'm gonna say and it kind of pains me to say this because i hate playing devil's advocate when it comes to this type of a situation but like i said so i did i'm gonna literally contradict myself but i'm just gonna play devil's advocate for this so i did say earlier that i believe until the divorce is completely finalized even if you're like separated for a long time you're technically still married like even if you're not living in the same house even if the two of you decide oh go ahead and date others it's fine right you know because sometimes sometimes yeah, people couples do that i get what you're getting and at so, but that's not what's happening like i if you if they if they were getting a divorce and it's not final yet and then he met this girl yeah and that that's what i'm fine. saying however some people because I, I don't know because i don't know what him and his wife are like dealing with and things like that but if they were separated and in his mind he's thinking since we're separated that is okay to date others you know regardless of the fact that the divorce papers aren't signed because some people do think that no, i get you and say oh we're separated because like people will approach you and say like oh i'm not married but i'm separated no i and understand it's in the works and i'm like oh dude creepy get away from me like me personally i'm no. like dude go take care of that but first. my point is i understand like that i could i could work with mm -hmm. you know but that's not what's happening it's not like they didn't it's not that they were separating and he met this girl they are separating because he met this girl. They were not separated until she found out about this girl is what I'm saying. So he was just flat out cheating on his wife. There, there was no issue until mm -hmm. this girl. And then they started separating. They've been apart now for about three months because the wife found out about her like seven months ago. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. See, see what I'm saying? Like that. No, but so I mean, he he whatever he's doing is what he's doing so i mean it is i my only sentiment with this is that it does kind of like it it is embarrassing and it sucks for um for her poor thing yeah, yeah you know and to have this out and everything and so hopefully they get that all resolved and that all people involved are just because that that because then they have to go like and divorces are not easy to go through especially if you have a young child involved too that can get kind of like sticky and things like that and so hopefully they hopefully we did talk about amber heard in the last episode which she went through a divorce mm -hmm. and luckily is slowly it seems like as far as what we know changing that into a better situation for herself and others and yeah so she totally worked that that was cool hopefully yeah. um his wife in this situation this will just be a really will evolve it's gonna be probably i, I would assume yeah very different you know what right i hope now. i hope the other girl opens her eyes like he just left a woman who just had his baby for you. At the time that they met, the baby was like less than a year old. Aww. You know? So it's like, why would you go and trust him after that? Hmm. You know? So I don't know. I, I If he does the same thing to her with some other college girl like in the future, then just I told you so. So, well, okay. I don't know. I don't know what they're... So hopefully, hope, but like I said, just for his wife, I'm hoping that yeah, yeah. She is no, you bring up a good to, point. I hope the same. Like I hope that yeah. she, she like, I'm sure she would be like better off. I mean, she will be now that we know he's just gonna cheat anyway. Like we know she's better off without him. But mm -hmm. I hope like overall she finds a cool way to kind of yeah. And I know. hope nothing else too wild comes out that will furthermore like you know like stick it more like makes it you know yeah, well, cats out of the bag now. To, yeah, but there's you know if this is if this is. I think the wildest. Sometimes when you learn one thing, you learn like a bunch of other stuff, and then the media just makes it wild yeah. and crazy. I know what you mean, like, but I think this what, is my real life. I think you know? what, like what you made guys it, are I think blasting what, my life. What like put it over the top of like like okay, now you're just doing too much. Was when he got the girl's name tattooed on his forearm. Mm. That's kind of like a really dude, you know, like because you're right, you're not even divorced yet. Like okay, we understand you cheated on her. Like that was a stupid thing to do, or like a, you know, like just a not not very like noble i guess thing to do you know mm -hmm. which if you're going to be the one just like i said like the cop thing like if you're going to be the one to push that then you should follow it and you know the fact that it just seems hypocritical to me and that's why i don't like it but i don't know we'll see how this turns out but we do need to take one more quick commercial break and we shall be right back tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts now listen close and hear this out there's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. Hey! The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. 
Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for listening to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. I'm Mariano. And I'm Pauline. And um, I just found out last night that the new iPhone 7 should be coming out in, like, late September. Yeah, usually um, they, like, release in September. I Well, I saw, like, a list of when the... F- not the first, but when the 2G was released in 2007. Oh. It was, like, June, but they slowly have been, like, leaning more toward, like, September. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of don't care because I'm an Android person, but it's cool. Like one thing though that I read, and I don't know if this is true. Did you read this about the iPhone that it might not have a headphone jack? I did see that. Isn't that weird? I that is actually like. Do you like that? Like I I don't like I I haven't read one positive comment about it. Everyone that has iPhones were like, "That's stupid. I want my headphone jack." You're just trying to get me to buy like expensive Bluetooth headphones or whatever. Yeah, I don't know because that is kind of like weird. I don't know how it's going to be. Well, that's always been one of my problems with Apple is their stuff is so expensive. Like they make everything so expensive. Yeah, they do. And they make everything different. So you have to use Apple stuff, you know. But I guess, I mean, that's just. It's smart on them, but it, it doesn't translate well to the consumer. So I'd be fine like with my Android. I love my Android and it's cheaper. Like everything about Androids I've noticed is cheaper. Like I've I've looked before, like I can look up the exact same charger from the exact same brand. And why is the iPhone one more expensive than the Android one? You know, when it's pretty much the same thing. You know, so if there's not going to be a headphone jack to me, that's kind of dumb. Like, I like listening to music. Yeah, I don't you know? know how what, how that's going to, like, work out. But, yeah. I mean... I listen to a lot of music, too, on my phone. Mm-hmm. And I like to plug in my phone to my car. Yeah. But right. I guess, like, I guess you could do... If you have Bluetooth, The though. Bluetooth, yeah. yeah. Some newer cars a lot have that. And then... Um, Does yours? No, I don't have a newer car. You so. see what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of people... But I'm probably you know, not going to get the 7. I'm probably going to wait till like... 7s i uh-huh. like waiting for like the second one uh-huh. to go before getting like that first one but i'm just saying like you see my point a lot of people these days still have older especially like i imagine people who want the iphone are going to be like younger people like college students and a lot of college people have older cars you know they don't have a lot of money and i bet a ton of those don't have bluetooth it just seems like a hassle yeah it's going to be interesting to see i mean they're still probably going to do a lot of really really well with the like, cells oh i'm sure that they sales, are excuse yeah me. so i mean that's probably like why they don't really care and i'm sure that they've already because they've been kind of like talking about this for like a little while they've been saying that um there's gonna be like that headphone jack and things like that and i mean everybody was really upset when they first decided to like all of a sudden switch like the uh charger port again because no, like when they first did it for, oh, I think it for started the with cable? the five. Uh-huh. Yeah. And people were like freaking out because they are just like, well, I personally was like, great. I will have to have like two chargers instead of just keeping one and things like that. Because any iPhone or Apple, like when you had like an iPod, like you could just plug it into that one, the, the first type of charger that they had. Um, the big fat one. Yeah. Like the long like one. And so. That was this like, oh, it's going to be kind of inconvenient because now instead of just reaching for like one cord whenever you wanted to plug in any type of device, you would have to make sure like you had the right one. And then I remember when they first came out with like the fives, uh, when I was like in school, people would ask like when they would come over, they'd be like, oh, do you have a oh, charger? charger. Yeah. And I'm like, yikes, nope. Yeah. Like, you know, and so um, I just had like the four charger and things like that. So that kind of because everybody everywhere, I feel like at least one within like your uh, group of friends, excuse me, would have like that four charger. Cause you, whether you have an I, cause like I didn't get an iPhone until I got my uh, five. And so like I had an Android also, but I had 
a plug for iPhone users because I had iPod. Mm. And so even if my friends had an iPhone and I didn't, they could still like charge at my house or whatever. But then once like the five came out, a lot of my friends who had the five, they're like, dude, we're going to have to get a charger to just like keep here. Cause like I used to have like friends come over all the time. And so I know a lot of people were kind of like indifferent about that. And so, but then now it's been kind of like mainstream and it's kind of like weird if you don't have a five charger when you have like Apple products and stuff like that. So, but also too that now that it's been the same charger for the five, this five S six success. No, that's what I'm saying. So, so like, like now it's, now it's kind normal. of like the new norm. Yeah. And but when they like keep that. changing it, it's just not, you know, but I don't think, are they, are they planning on changing the charger for the S I mean, excuse me, the seven? Well, I don't know, but, but charger aside, like, but I'm talking about keep changing stuff like that. Now the headphone jack. No, yeah, you know? I, they're like, always to me, gonna like make I love it so fact. it's more of like an exclusive, like but group of people that have these exclusive products and these like exclusive. But to me, like accessories. But it's not. I don't think it's so much exclusive as now you have to buy it. You know, like because the what's cool to me is like I have ancient chargers from my old old Android phones. No, yeah, like from like my my touch days. You remember those? But even you know? um, like with uh, what you call it the um. What am I thinking of? Samsung Galaxies. There aren't they? Aren't those chargers different? They never change those plugs. Um, I think the new, the newer I, ones did. I think the newer ones do, but the but yeah. the cool thing is that's just Samsung. So like, there are still way more Android like that have the same charger. Like mine is a Motorola. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so if Samsung wants to fall, and obviously Samsung loves iPhone because now their new phones look just like the iPhone. Um, but I think that the coolest thing about Samsung is that cordless charger thing like where you can stick it apple needs um, to come out with one of those you know i, what? Think I don't those care are cool. i don't care about that like i'm not against it at all but like if if i had if i wish you could like custom build phones like if, if i could pull that out and just exchange it for just a bigger battery i would do that because yes that is very cool but like, well everybody's gonna want a bigger battery you know, but you know what I mean? but like that is a cool thing but it'd be cool as an option i feel like because like a nobody not nobody but not everyone how about is going to take advantage of that because my phone actually has that too the like my phone, I think the yeah. Droid Turbo was the first phone to have that. And the, the first charging, phone, I think, uh, is like the cool thing. And the first phone, I want, I want my phone to have that. My iPhone to right? have. And my, mine charging. was the first phone to have. Like the reason they called it the Turbo was this is the first one to have like the turbo charger. Mm-hmm. So mine charges really fast because it has that giant battery. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm not against that at all. But like I, I could kind of do without it. Like I'm never at Starbucks that much, and I hear that when your, when your phone is like wireless charging, it's not that fast, the charging. No, yeah. Yeah. So like I'd I'd rather just do without it. Like if I could change that out for something else. Like if I could change that out for like waterproofing, I would totally do that. Or you know, a bigger battery, I would totally do that, you know? Mhm. That'd be cool. But it is it's nifty. Like it's definitely What I like is the Android Pay. That's that's cool. Have you seen that? Mhm. That's I have seen Pay. That's really cool. But it's crazy what they do with phones these days. And I I mm-hmm. just wonder like I want I can't wait to see around September like those lines outside of like best buy and like at&t are going to be huge yeah people are like i i mean i don't really mind the headphone jack thing i think it's going to be inconvenient at first but then just like with like the lightning cable it's just going to be like the new normal thing and so um i don't really mind it too much yeah. i'm just going to be like i just don't like the I- idea like i just don't like the idea that limiting me is the new normal thing you know you know what i mean like i just limiting or disconnecting because now they're saying because then you don't have to have a cord yeah but i can already not and have a cords cord. are kind of like cumbersome yeah but my, but my point is it's the option like my phone does bluetooth too but i mm-hmm. could have a cord i don't like i don't like the idea that i need to have this you well know? apple looks like mariano's never converting to team iphone do you know what i mean though like well i'm not but not because of that but just because android has gotten so good like when iphones first came out iphones were sick i remember i remember the old first first commercial do you mm-hmm. remember those Mm-hmm. and it wasn't any words it was just a guy touching the phone and like a cool little song in the background um and androids were were really weak when they first came out but they've gotten so good that i'm like you know what i like it i'm just gonna stick with it and google as an interface i like better than like apple you know because like, they, they all have the same thing like the cloud and the and the uh like email service they all have the same things now mm-hmm. amazon um but i like amazon and google better than i like apple and like itunes right mm-hmm. It's all good. So, I mean, yeah. yeah, it just kind of depends on what your preference yeah. is. And yeah, I mean, there's like no that. wrong answer. Like, they're all good phones. Right. So, I mean, I just think it'll be, like, kind of annoying at first without having that jack. But, I, like I said, I'm not going to get it until 
the oh the uh, s yeah so i i'll probably like wait for a while anyways and then figure out how my friends deal with the kinks before i get it and then i'll know what i want <laughs> so Speaking of which i want to see what new android phones are coming out yeah i'm sure i, I know it's kind of like fun seeing all the new features on phones oh. sometimes i want like the galaxy when uh you know how like the commercial where like she drops it in the pond and she picks it up to still take the picture whoa i can be like that little wayne and just pour chardonnay all over my phone. phone that does make me want that phone i'm not gonna lie i would do that i'd pour, chardonnay. I, I'd pour champagne all over my phone just because i could <laughs> i wouldn't i would <laughs> but i just I in an uber driverless car i would totally do yikes no uber driver cars that's weird it's scary to me but i mean so apple's always trying to like try new things and develop new ways that we do things and i mean clearly somebody approved this and felt that it would be a new innovative way for us to use our phones so people are gonna i guess see that in september there have been talks that they might actually push it back yeah a little bit i heard that too from september yeah. so um and i guess I'll, i mean if you think about it september is like a pretty good time because it's like back to school time yep and things too and i know a lot of people do that because of back to school type things so we'll see hopefully it'll be out before the end of the year because that would be a great christmas present for a lot of people i'm sure would love that but that's going to do it for this episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media News Podcast. I'm your host, Pauline. And I'm Mariano. And you can always listen to us, of course, on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, or on our network website, which is gsmcpodcast.com. And, of course, on Twitter, if you love the idea of a jackless um, phone, which if you, you hate it, if you you know whatever you can hit us up on twitter at gsmc underscore s media and we want to hear your guys' opinions but it's been fun we'll talk to you guys next time next time